Breaking a bone, not a fun experience. Not only is it painful, it can take up to 12 weeks to mend. Often that can involve a cast, a sling. Sometimes, as we know, it can require surgery. You may get rods, pens, and screws, or all of the above. If you've ever broken a bone and thought, there has to be an easier way to fix this, well, there might be. A new study found broken bones could be fixed in just five minutes wow. with glue. Now, we're not ready for prime time yet, but here to discuss is orthopedic <laughs> surgeon Dr. Dave Shukla, because th this is an interesting development. This isn't gonna put you out of yeah. business, is it, Doc? No, I don't think this one will. And, and this, <laughs> so, so to clarify, this glue was used in rats, right, for this experiment. But tell us how, how this would work and how it could translate into humans. Thank you, Dr. Stork. So, this was a Swedish group that tested this glue in animals. Now this is a variant on a glue that they have been using in dentistry for years, but historically they haven't been able to find a glue that works as well or is strong enough to fix bones. So they created fractures in animals, they laid down the glue, allowed it to seep into the pores, put a fibrous patch on top of it to reinforce that, and then added a few more layers. And then they uh, allowed the glue to dry over five minutes. They then watched the animals for five weeks and they tried to simulate uh, what physical therapy would be like in a patient. So they bent the bones, they twisted them, they ro you know, rotated them, that kind of thing. And then at the end of the five weeks, they looked at the bones and the glue under a microscope. So what did they find? Two key things in my opinion. One, that the glue was not toxic to the tissue and the cells in the area. Also, that the bones did not move relative to each other very much. Now that's a key concept in fracture healing. That's what allows it to heal. And so I think there is promise here, but it's very early to say it's a short-term follow-up study, five weeks, and it's very small bones in a mouth. And this is not the cement that you have been using forever when you, when you do a prosthetic hip, you put cement that's in, correct. in the femur, so different. That's polymethyl methacrylate, totally right, different. Totally different, so it's what the dentists use. I, I remember I had it done, it's over 20 years now, to, to put on like a cap, Right. And it's still holding, so I, I assume it's... I think this is it's... even stronger than that, right? 55% it is. Percent stronger than what the dentists use, correct? That's correct, right. Yeah. So, it's so but I'm curious about the five-week aspect, because I've broken a number of bones myself, and usually you're in a cast for a lot longer. You are. So over time, have you noticed a deterioration in the strength of the bones, or is there any follow-up data on this study? Bones tend to get stronger over time, and that was one of the concerns I had, is I think they're probably collecting long-term data, but this study reported five-week data. It seems like there could be an application in humans for fractures that, that are not overly displaced and are pretty stable. Mm -hmm. It doesn't sound like this is going to be the treatment for mm -hmm. unstable fracture where right now if you're putting a big rod in there, I, I tend to struggle with the thought that just a little bit of glue is going to hold a massive, you know, unstable femur, femur fracture or something like that. But who knows, maybe you have someone with a hairline fracture or they have osteoporosis and they may just need a little bit of help to maybe prevent a fracture from getting worse or preventing a fracture in the first place. Is there any place for something like this in, in someone who has weakened bones to begin yeah, with, like an application? Or a stress fracture, for example. Yeah. Right, well, in those kind of scenarios, you may not do surgery at all. And so one of the things with this glue is you do have to perform a surgery. You have to expose the fracture site. You have to clean the bone and remove some of the natural things that are exposed when so you fracture So this wouldn't be as simple as an injection no. through a pinhole. This is open surgery, which right. comes with its, with its own risks. Right. Interesting. Yeah. This is a long way away from prime yeah. time, but I will say it's exciting to it think is. into the future about some new innovative ways beyond I'll, I'll be honest, most doc, people aren't Your job either. security sounds to me <laughs> yeah, I think so. like but, it's but okay for the moment. Bones will still break. Bones will still and break, but I think it's always interesting and exciting to hear uh, about these new developments. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Appreciate it.